the world would be shaped by uh, society itself. And it means that uh, we are uh, nearing fantastic things in terms of science and technology and research and innovation now can produce things that are fantastic. Um, the only thing is that uh, it has to be along the lines of, of what, what society wants. If we produce things that are uh, seemingly fantastic but unsustainable for us or for our children, that's not a good thing. So we have to make sure that what we produce through research and innovation is indeed what society is expecting, you know. I don't know if it's a, it will make directly the world a better place, but certainly uh, it, it provides a space, let's say, to, to reflect on how to make a, a better place. So it's a space for, for researchers to think about uh, the impact of, uh, uh, of the, the, their work, uh, the impact on, on society. And it's also a space where, where society can um, can reflect, uh, open a certain technology, for instance, and how that affects, or the, how it is, uh, let's say, um, can have an impact on, on uh, 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 certain, certain expectations that society might have, as well as uh, needs or values. So RRI is there for that, really, for, for that purpose. Well, it's an uh, ambitious question, <laughs> but I will try to to answer. Well, I think that uh, RRI tries to make uh, the world a better place, uh, aligning the societal uh, needs to the excellent parts of research. Uh, I guess that uh, sometimes research uh, wants to develop a new technology, but uh, it can have some harmful damages to, to society. So this is a way to prevent um, future technologies that can have uh, some backlashes at society. So I don't know if it will be a better place, but uh, we might find better ways how to look at the world we are having right now and we will have in the future. The world should be sustainable, that uh, will be enough water, fresh air, other thing for all the people. You work for and with the society, so uh, science is not detached in the in the so-called ivory tower, but you you include stakeholders and and work with them, co-create co knowledge, and that's that's the very important thing about RI. It can take into account what society really wants, what society thinks is uh, useful or would think is necessary for, for society itself and can really improve in uh, listening to different voices, the listening to different needs, um, trying to be historically motivated by, by what is needed and um, so to embed, to host all the changes and to, to make different parts of society communicate with each other. I think uh, right, it's a powerful enactor of communication in society. So I think when dialogue is established, it's a first important step to make society a better place. But I'm sure that it will uh, increase the uh, legitimacy of, uh, of uh, research. That it will uh, that there will be uh, uh, democratic and normative uh, benefits, but that there will also be some very practical benefits to researchers who engage with broader uh, publics uh, who engage with the stakeholders around their research uh, efforts. Uh, there are no simple pathways between uh, engaging in uh, responsible activities or doing research in a, in a different way. It will become a better place because it will be more democratic, more self-reflexive and I think I'm deeply convinced that it will help to come up with better products, for example, chairs. I think that at least we can try to, to, to if we, as a society, uh, try to consciously select what we are doing. And if we start to communicate about our objectives and goals, and also the objectives and goals of research, technology and innovation and the impact of that, and if there is more participation in that, I think uh, the world can be a better place because um, more people have a say in, about the direction in which we are moving as a society. 
So I think if you involve more people which uh, today have no voice in science, technology and innovation, and if you uh, have more gender balance uh, in terms of participation in science, technology and innovation, and also in selecting topics which are researched, and also to look at people's needs in what is researched, I think uh, the world might be a better place. It has the potential to improve uh, already existing uh, responsible research to make it even more responsible through uh, bringing together different stakeholders, thinking out of the box, uh, improving one's processes, maybe improving engagement uh, processes since public engagement is one of the main aspects of RI. I think RI is a way to, so again, to, to reconnect science and society and um, and the world would be a better place because then everybody would, would feel involved would feel involved in, in what's going on and uh, in the in the scientific and innovation developments. Then, uh, well, it's uh, if if we are all involved, if, if we all feel responsible, then it will be harder to, to point you are you are you are the one who are making mistake, but we all feel responsible and, and we all can move on together to yeah, to, to a better to a better world. Frankly our concept is more or less settled, but as a practice it is evolving. So it could make the world a better place by you know, uh, ensuring that research and innovation are oriented towards the real needs, societal needs and or ethical in that sense. But whether that itself will make the world a better place, I'm not very sure. It could, in a sense, it could contribute to making the world a better place positively. And to what extent that is feasible depends on so many ifs and buts.